Okay. Games, and I hope you are having a great Friday. Um, let me know if this video is coming in a little weird because Facebook wouldn't let me um, film it using the Stillmeyer Games page that I have. I don't know. They wouldn't let me do a live video. So I'm here just uh, under, my, under my Jamie Stegmeyer Facebook account. Hopefully everything is working the same. Let me know in the comments if not. Today we're going to play with Libertalia, a very difficult realm, Viticulture, an easier realm, and Euphoria, a great realm if we roll doubles. So let's jump in and see how we do with our first roll today. We have a six and a three. And as always, of course, if you do not have uh, Libertalia, which is a promo realm, put something else in there instead. Any, anything can fit in that, in that slot. All right, a six and a three. Also, let me know in the comments. I uh, Hey, Chad is here. Chad, is everything looking okay in terms of the camera, the audio? It, it, it should be the same, but it's, uh, you know, it's my personal Facebook account, account instead of my Stillmeyer account. And I did for the first time, I announced uh, I announced this in advance, kind of not the exact time, but I said in advance on the Rolling Realms Facebook page that I'd be here this afternoon doing this. And I announced which realms we'll be using today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Um, for those of you who watch on YouTube, probably doesn't matter at all, but you are welcome to join the Facebook group if you want to see maybe in advance, um, if I do that again in the future. I don't know if that's helpful to know in advance, but, but maybe it is a little bit. Anyway, we have a six and a three here. I need to use a number every turn in Libertalia, so I want to do something over there, and I'll need coins. So I need to get coins from Euphoria. I need to use some low numbers in Euphoria to get some coins there, which I don't always need to do. Um, I'll put, oh, what do we do here? I'll put a six over here in Viticulture. Six is a great number to have there. I'll get a pumpkin out of it. And then that three, I'll have to use in Libertalia somewhere. You have to, any number that you write down needs to fit into ascending order into any pirates that you've completed over in Libertalia. So I could do make this a 33, and that could eventually be a 34. I think that'll work well. Let's go with that, 33. And that gives me two hearts. All right, turn two. A one and a three. Okay, that, that one will be helpful to get some coins. Let's get a one over in Euphoria and get a coin. The problem with needing coins for Libertalia is that normally coins are used to create new numbers to activate all three realms in one turn. That's going to be very difficult with Libertalia. And sometimes it's okay to, you know, ignore a realm a little bit. Um, I might do that a little bit today. Chad says he got the notification because it's from my personal account. He never figured out how to get rolling, get notifications in the Rolling Room group. Okay, I see. So people who maybe normally don't get this are going to see that I am live right now and maybe follow me on Facebook personally, but not uh, not the Stomart Games Facebook page. That makes sense. Um, so I've done the one, the three. I could use another three in Libertalia as long as it falls into this order. So I could put that three right there, but I don't have two coins to spend. And I could use it right there if I wanted could also use it over here. I think I think I'll go with the easy approach and put it down here and just get a pumpkin. All right, let's get a pair. We really need a pair. We've got the two hearts for it. We've got Euphoria in play. Maybe two twos would be great. Nope, there's another three and a six. A lot of threes so far. We're going to start to run out of the utility of those threes. Um... Let's see, what can we do with that six? I can put a six. The three, I, I think I need to do the three in Euphoria. I'm gonna put it right here and get another coin. So that's another coin. Maybe I can hope you get a two in this other realm. Hey, Rob is popping in here. Hope you're doing well, Rob. Um, three and a six. So I, I've used the three there. The six could actually work with that six alone to hit up this 12, which would be pretty cool, but then I would leave out the possibility of completing all pirates in the battalion, which I always try to do. It's really hard to do. It doesn't always make sense to do, but I always try to do it. The problem is with that six, there's really only two good places to put it, and I don't really want to put it there. I'll go for it. I'll put the six right here. It costs me a coin and a heart. Not a great call early in the game, but it does get me an early star, which is also not relevant early in the round usually. We do have a promo realm coming out that looks at stars that you already have. Oh, double ones. Double ones would have been awesome in Euphoria earlier. We got double ones on turn four. Oh, man. Too little too late for Euphoria. But that would have been great. Um, yeah, what do we do there now? The one is great in Libertalia. I'm a little inclined to get a heart to copy one of those ones. 
So could I get a heart? Yeah, I could get a heart by putting that here. So I'll put the one there and I'll get a heart. So I have one more one to use and I can use two hearts to copy a paired number like that. So let's put another one over here, get a coin down there, and we'll copy that last one and put it right there. Usually when you want ones, you use coins. I create, I use one coin to create a number one, but in this case, I need those coins for Libertalia. So I'll cross that off. That gets me a star over here in Euphoria. Still hoping for a two in Euphoria. That would be great. Okay, next turn. It's turn five. Three and a two. We continue getting threes, and we got that two in Euphoria. That's great. That gives us another coin in Euphoria. That's fantastic. Uh, Chad, Rob, anybody watching along right now, what are you playing this weekend? Other than Rolling Realms, maybe. Are you playing anything else this weekend? So we have two over there. We need a three someplace else. Three, I could do the three here now in Libertalia if I want. It would cost two coins. I could also put a three in Viticulture and get another heart. I think I'm going to keep on going for Libertalia. So let's put a three right there. It'll cost us two coins. And now we really only need one coin left, and uh, we have it for Libertalia. So we're good if we get a, uh, a four or a five there, or even a six. Four, five, or six works right there. But I also need a five or a six on this last one. We're, so we're actually doing pretty well in Libertalia at this point. Turn five and a two. Turn six is a five and a two. Hey, Garrett's joining in here as well. Garrett says, happy Friday. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. I hope you do as well, Garrett. What are you playing this weekend? What are you up to this weekend? A five and a two. Uh, the two could get me another star over here in Euphoria. could also get me a coin here, and that coin could be pretty useful. The five, I know that I need a five or a six right here, so I think I'll go ahead and get that out of the way. Let's put that five right there. Although I know I, I need, actually, well, no, that could be a one or a two. I, I know I will need a two at some point down there. And actually the likelihood, and I'll need exactly a two, whereas a five or a six would be fine there. So let's go ahead and use the two. We'll put the two right there and get two pumpkins. And then the five, Five is pretty good in Viticulture. So let's put the five right there and get that, that pumpkin. I think that's good. I will have a spare coin if I can get that too, but there's no guarantee I'll get it. So let's keep on rolling and see what I actually get. I'm running well behind on Euphoria. Chad says his games are packed up. Oh yeah, he's selling his house. He's moving to a new house. That's right, Chad. You mentioned that on one of the live casts. I hope the move goes well. Are you moving this weekend or are you just packing up this weekend? Garrett says he's playing Verdant. Oh, I rolled another five and a two while I was talking here. Garrett's playing Verdant. I need to try that. And uh, Garrett says he might play Wingspan Asia if it arrives on time. And Rob says that he received the new expansion for Everdell. So hopefully he can get another play of it. He's been playing super skill pinball and trekking through history. I need to try trekking through history. I've heard good things about that as a nice family weight game. So five and a two. A two would be great here. Two is actually decent over here as well in Euphoria. Um, but I like that coin. That coin gives me some flexibility. So let's go ahead and get that coin right there. The five I can put in one of two places. Put it here or here. Um... But I have more flexibility on that one. So I think I'll put it right there and get another star. That's 65. So I need one of those coins. I don't need one of them, but I can't do much else in Euphoria. Although it might be time to do that. Let's use one coin and we'll turn it into a two to use right there in Euphoria. The sum over here in Euphoria right now is six. And so that is indeed another star. All right, turn seven. Chad says he's moving on the 12th. He's working on selling his current house right now. Pair of fours. We can actually do that in Euphoria. All right. So in Euphoria, if you have a pair, rolled pair, you can use one of those numbers. Um, or you can use actually kind of you use one of those numbers, but you write it down in both of the areas in Euphoria and get both benefits, which is great. Uh, especially in this case, because I get two more stars out of Euphoria and I still have a four to use elsewhere. I probably, I need to get stars in Viticulture. I probably waited too long to do that. Does a four, four is also good in Libertalia. Um, so I wish I could use it in both places. And I actually need to do, I need to do something in you in uh, Libertalia. Ooh, that's tough. Um, 
Yeah, I, I, I do need to... Uh... Yeah, I'm sacrificing Viticulture a little bit here just for the fun of completing Libertalia. Hopefully I can pull it off. Uh, I'm going to spend this coin and I'll spend that pumpkin to place that four right there and get another star. So all I need now is a one. I need exactly a one. Well, that's not good. I kind of backed myself into a corner here. I need to roll a one now or I won't complete Libertalia. I've, I've, uh, I've given myself only one out because I used that coin elsewhere in Euphoria. I shouldn't have done that. All right, here we go. Didn't get the one. I spent the whole round trying to get Libertalia. Didn't, didn't make it happen. We have a six and a five here. So, yeah, I don't think that's going to do it. I don't, I mean, a pair maybe would have pulled it off in Euphoria, but a six and a five isn't going to do it. So, we can use the, we'll say the six. We'll use the six over here with that six and get uh, get a wine order complete in Viticulture. And the five, the five can jump on over here to Euphoria and get us a pumpkin and a heart. But that isn't enough to uh, to do anything big. So ended on a little bit of a whimper there, possibly for you too if you waited for the last minute. It's good to have some flexibility there at the end. And I cut myself off with that flexibility. I shouldn't have done that by using that coin a little bit earlier. Kate says, first time catching one of these live. This game is so neat. Thank you, Kate. Uh, we're a big fan of Stillmeyer. Our favorites are Wingspan and Red Rising. That's awesome. Yeah, I love those games. And uh, thank you, Kate, for, for popping in for today's live cast. Or today's uh, Rolling Realms live play, specifically. Chad says, we need a realm that lets you re-roll a die. And we thought about that. The, the problem with that is because of the the lack of interaction by design in uh, in Rolling Realms, there are no interactions with the dice. It's only what you do with those numbers as you use them, but um, you can't actually manipulate the dice themselves. So what do we end up here? We ended up with 9.4. 9.4. Hopefully you can beat my score. Let me know in the comments below what you score. Uh, before I sign off, Rob says uh, he's really enjoying trekking through history. It's great production. Gameplay is so smooth, and his son loves history, and so he loves the, the historical facts on the backs of the cards. That's cool. Yeah, we need to try that. All right, I think that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, and then probably again on Sunday, maybe early afternoon um, or late morning. I'm going to play some disc golf on Sunday uh, for rounds two and three, and as always, they'll be on YouTube as well. Thank you all for playing along. I hope you have a great day and a great weekend. Take care.